The final score, I'll give you that right off the bat. And then let's see how we got there. Reggie Bush, not active today. Is he today. still playing? He was okay, uh, not today sure. for the okay. third straight game, in fact, with that ankle injury. Cutler playing in his first Thanksgiving Day game. Got the Movember thing working. Bears out. stole a page out of the Patriots' playbook at the start of this game. A lot of quick passes to neutralize that Lions rush. Well, I mean, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to come I think they threw the first six passes, or first plays of the game. They threw the ball six times, which led them down the field. Alshon Jeffrey, who, by the way, I actually made it this week. So I'm feeling really good about them. It's a questionable <laughs> thing, but yes. Six, six plays on that drive, every single one of them a pass, five completed. Uh, Lions haven't scored a touchdown in two straight games heading into this one. They kick a field goal on their second drive, and then they turned it over on their third. How about the Trinity here? You get the sack, the strip sack, and the cost fumble. The old man, Jared Allen, still got a little something left in the tank, and everybody thought there was something wrong, but he had pneumonia at the beginning of the year, and now you're seeing... This is the reason why, you know, this guy still can play this game at a very high level. Pretty good start for Mr. Jared Allen in this one. Uh, Bears make the most of the turnover, convert it two plays later. Yeah, Alshon Jeffrey again. And, and, and the key here for Chicago is they get to a 14-point lead. You think you want to keep kind of pouring it on. He throws to a guy who high points the ball as good as anybody in the National Football League. Bears took a 14-3 lead on that play, and that is when the Lions turned it on. And, and, and watch these throws from Matt Staff. You heard me talking earlier about <laughs> him adjusting his launch point. That was his brother, Corey Fuller, uh, this Fuller and his brother. Kyle Fuller. Kyle, yeah. Snap, uh, yeah, trying to get it out of his hands. Hey, bro, little bro, it's all good. And here, three plays later, we've got Calvin in the slot with Demontre Hurst on him. You, you think he's getting the ball? I think he is getting the ball, and you're going to see a whole lot more of this before the game is over. And that, by the way, uh, catch, that catch was over Kyle Fuller, who we just saw. Yeah, didn't necessarily like the game plan there as far as putting a, an undersized Kyle Fuller on Megatron. I think that, you know, the numbers are there. Matt Stafford uh, excited about what's going on. Bears punted on their next drive, so the Lions get the ball back, and they uh, find the end zone once again. And for the Lions to continue to, to be in a force here, especially when you start talking about the weather, they're going to have to run the ball more just like they did today. That was really the second touchdown that Joy Bell had on that drive. The first one was called back because of a holding call. All right, so here we've got Stafford to Calvin Johnson for nine yards. Then it's Stafford to Theo Riddick for a 19-yard gain. Offensive line settling in. They struggled early on. Matt Stafford to watch. He plants that foot. Ball is coming out. That's Golden Tate on the receiving end of that one for 24 yards. Now we're in the red zone. First and goal on the Bears, six, 28 seconds left in the half. Yeah, see, this is not, that's not even fair. That, that's, I mean, that, I mean, and you understand you got to get pressure. They blitzed on that particular play. But you just, I mean, think about it. He catches the ball, he's not even touched. That's Megatron we're talking about. That was his second touchdown of the day, his eighth on Thanksgiving. That's the most receiving touchdowns on the holiday ever. And that was the third straight drive on which the Lions scored a touchdown. Boy, I see Whitman. And see, that's the thing. You look at Stafford. When he's on, he's dropping back, he's firing that ball. Boy, it's special to watch. So this is the third quarter, obviously, now, and this is a Golden Tate 22-yard pickup. Stafford spreading the ball around. The golden boy of the season this year has been Golden Tate. I'm telling you, the most important player, he's the guy that has kept this team in it. Uh, Joseph Fourier almost scored a touchdown on this drive. Got it down there, you know, right to the Oh, so we missed the dance is what you're saying? Out. So no dance, huh? Oh. Uh, you could have argued that he oh. did get it in, but it wasn't yeah. challenged. Yeah. It didn't matter because Joyke Belly ultimately got it in anyway. Lines up 31-17. Jay Cutler, not a great second half for him. Well, and this is the thing is when you get a lead, then all of a sudden that allows Detroit to impose its will with pressure. And you see, guys, there you go. Another sack right there. Uh, and Jason Jones. Yeah, it, it, it's all about if you let these guys grip and rip, it's going to be a long day for you. Here, Cutler looking for Brandon Marshall. Tipped by Darius Slay, intercepted by Glover Quinn. And again, that's one of those back foot throws, kind of just chucking it up there as opposed to stepping into the throw. And there was no reason for him to throw off of his back foot. Those are the undisciplined kinds of plays that are causing, I believe, Jay Cutler to struggle the way he has struggled at times. And there is your final, 34-17. And so the Lions improve to 8-4. and four. The Bears fall to 5-7, and seven. as we just mentioned. They are effectively removed from the playoff race, though not mathematically just yet.